What a concept here Different. really had me uh, thinking one thing at the beginning. Um, you know, it just felt like this inspiring sort of triumphant uh, piece and then things turned dark really quickly um, and it was all played really well um, by the actors uh, the direction was great um, everything just really came together and just had me leaning in on this one uh, you couldn't help but wonder what was going to happen next and there's just some really good moments in there um, this reverse Russian roulette thing. It was just all played really well, really smart, worth checking out. Gold Go. was a very shocking film for obvious reasons. Uh, it was actually the first film of this, of the bunch that I watched. And I waited until the very end to write notes about it because I wanted to just sit with it and absorb it. Um, because it was a lot and I was not prepared for <laughs> everything that happened. Ah, it was a lot and I really enjoy when films are able to have such a re or to, to be able to um, elicit such a response from me and I'm going to presume all of the other viewers too. Um, I love impactful storytelling and I think they did a fantastic job doing that. I thought the opening section especially how they blended the music with like the youth of the kids and the aspects that looked uh like they were gambling or something like that um with kind of the classic music overtures like i thought all of that was like a really interesting way to start off the whole thing and then that kind of set the mood at least for me the music did when you go into the room and they all have their kind of like one-liners but it works all together as a whole speech felt almost like shakespearean in a way or you know, it was all performed and said with like a certain level of like, uh, like gravitas. And I think that the opening scene really kind of set the tone for that. So I thought that that was really well done. I want to first compliment the good special effects uh, that were, looked like that they were uh, achieved in post production. E either way, it was shocking and it was relevant. Like, it reminded me of two directors, reminded me of uh, Kubrick and its use of Beethoven's ninth second movement. Um, though not as violent as Kubrick did. Uh, the violence seemed to came where it reminded me of Michael Gimino, that a game of Russian roulette. The first, the stranger, uh, his final comment is poetic. Um, it's, it's beautiful, but it's cryptic. From then on, it seems that the characters are fatalistic because they are, their comments are become more and more existential. As for the survivor, what she wants to believe in, I can only guess, and I've already given you my comic response to that. But that all being said, it's a film that will make you think, and it was a good use of music, and it was a good use of drama. Definitely makes you think. Um, it's design is interesting, especially in the the fact that it has op uh, an opening sequence prior to its title, which especially in a short film that's under five minutes, you wouldn't necessarily expect because you, you normally with that short runtime would go right into the story. So I thought it was interesting that it chose to have a kind of opening sequence. It would be interesting to think about rather what her life will mean moving forward now after going through this experience. It definitely warrants repeated viewing to kind of see what else you could pick out of it. And, you know, the best short films do do that. So I think that's, um, that's a statement of success right there. The, the desire to think more about it and take a second look. The meaning of this piece is quite profound about how the youth of today perhaps are so uh, frustrated and uh, looking for answers in life. It is a startling film, but very effective. Well done.